Okay, hello everybody, what's going on? This is Muhammad, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna give you this problem here, which I would like you to give a thought before seeing the solution. So the problem is that if we have these two random variables, x1 and x2, that are uniformly distributed over the interval from zero to four, okay? And uh, if the two random variables, x1 and x2, are statistically independent, if we define another random variable, w, which is nothing but the absolute difference of these two random variables, then how would, their prob how would its probability density function look like, okay? Okay, so in other words, what is fw of w, okay? So if you're interested, uh, pause this video, give this problem a try, and then keep watching this video for a solution, okay? So first of all, let me remind you of what the uniform distribution uh, how, how the uniform distribution look like. Okay, so if x1 and x2 are uniformly distributed over the interval from 0 to 1, then this is how uh, both x1, okay, this is x1, okay, and this is how the probability density function of x1 look like. It is f x1 of x1. x1 capital is the random variable, and x1 small is the value that this random variable can take, and the probability density function of the uniform distribution from zero to four looks like this. Okay, so zero, four, and of course the amplitude should be equal to one, four, so that this area here is equal to what? To equal to one, because the area under the PDF should be equal to one. And that's how we know that this is a valid PDF. Right? Okay, now, the for the second random variable x2, again, this is x2, these are the values that the second random variable takes, okay, and the vertical axis here represents the probability density function of x2, which is fx2 of x2. And again, it looks exactly the same. It is, okay, uh, uniformly distributed over the interval from zero to four, so this is how it looks like. Okay, and the amplitude is equal to one fourth. Okay, and again, this area here is equal to uh, one. Good. So this is how the probability density function of both x one and x two look like. Now the question is that if w, which is another random variable, uh, is the absolute is defined as the absolute difference of these two random variables that are uniformly distributed over the interval from zero to four, and they are statistically independent, then how would its probability density function look like. Okay, so in order to calculate for uh, this here, okay, the probability density function, which is fw of w, then first of all, I would start with the CDF, which is with the cumulative density function, which is f, f capital w of w, which is basically defined as uh, the probability that w takes the values less than or equal small w. And if I, I'm able to um, to calculate for uh, the CDF, the cumulative distribution function of W, then I will differentiate that to get the probability density function. And that's the idea of this problem here. Okay, so now let's, I'm sorry, let's uh, substitute what W is here. This is equal to the probability that the absolute difference of X1 minus X2 is less than or equal W. Okay, and from simple math, we know that this is equal to the probability that x1 minus x2 is greater than or equal negative w less than or, or equal uh, w, okay? Uh, let's solve, uh, let's subtract uh, x1 from all sides. So this is going to be equal to the probability that a negative x2 is greater than negative w minus x1 less than or equal w minus x1. And then let's uh, multiply all sides by negative 1. So that will reverse the direction of the inequality. So this is what this would be equal to the uh, probability that uh, x1 minus w less than or equal x2 less than or equal uh, x1 plus w. So in order to find the, the, the cumulative de distribution function, the CDF of W, then what we need to do is to calculate for this probability here. Okay, so in order to find the probability here, okay, we already know that X1 and X2 takes the value between zero and four. So in order to simplify this, let's sketch a square. Okay, that basically, basically represents, okay, the uh, values, okay, that X1 and X2 will take. 
So this represents x1, okay, and let me move this a little bit down here, okay, and the vertical axis basically represents x2, okay, so this is x2, okay, and the values that x1 takes is from 0 to 4, and the values that x2 takes from 0 to 4, good. Now, we want to find the probability that x2, which is the vertical axis here, okay, takes the values uh, above x1 minus w and x1 plus w. So you can think about x2 as y and you can think about x1 as x. Okay, so y is a function of x. So let's sketch the first, uh, the left hand side here, which is x1 minus w, which is basically a line that is translated, that is shifted by w to the bottom, okay, downwards, okay? So this is gonna be equal to, let me sketch that, it would look like something like this. Okay, and if we sketch it again, and the other one, x1 plus w, is nothing but the, this line, but being shifted, uh, sh being shifted upwards, okay, by w. So it would look like something like this, okay? Okay, so what are the values here? Okay, the value here is w, and uh, this is the first line. If we substitute, if we equate, uh, if we equate x1 minus w with zero, then that tells us that x1 is equal to w, and if we equate it with, uh, if we substitute 4 instead of x1, then that would give us uh, 4 minus w, okay? And so, so I mean, the, 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 uh, this side here is 4 minus w, and this side here is 4 minus w. And again here, for x1 plus w, if you substitute x1 equals 0, that would give us w, and if we substitute, if we equate, I'm um, sorry, if we equate x1 plus w with 4, then that would give us 4 minus w, okay, here. Uh, so again, uh, the, uh, this length here is 4 minus w, and this length here is 4 minus w, okay? So to find the CDF is basically equivalent to finding this area here, okay? Under the PDF, of course, under the, PD, the, the joint PDF of x1 and x2, which is fx1, x2, x1, and x2, okay? So the CDF here is equal to the uh, double integral. Let me call this region R. So it is the integration over this region here, the double integral over this region R uh, of the joint PDF, fx1, x2 of x1, x2 dx1 dx2 and since uh, x1 and x2 are statistically independent then their joint pdf is equal to the product of their marginal pdf so this is basically going to be equal to the double integral over the region r of fx1 of x1 fx2 of x2 dx1 dx2 and then we can go ahead and substitute uh, 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 of course, this is going to be the integration over the region R, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, which is basically the probability density function of the of x1 and x2, because they are uniformly distributed so, uh, over the interval from 0 to 4, so their amplitude is going to be 1 fourth, 1 fourth, as we sketched it here, okay, 1 fourth and 1 fourth, okay, and then dx1, dx2. And then I will take out 1 by 16 outside. Then I'm going to be left out with the double integral of dx1 dx2 over the region R, which is nothing but the area of this region. This, instead of, of course, I mean, dealing with a hard integral, we can simply find the area of this green region here, R, which is nothing but the difference between the square area, which is 16, minus the uh, area of these two uh, rectangle uh, triangles here okay this rectangle uh, triangle uh, the area of this triangle here is uh, half 1 minus 4 minus omega multiplied by 4 minus omega so it is half 4 minus omega all squared and uh, this other triangle here has the same exact area which is 1 half 1 4 minus omega or 4 minus w all squared so both of them would give us what? The area of both of them would give us 4 minus uh, w all squared. Okay, so this is going to be equal to 
1 by 16 and then I, I will open a bracket and then 16 minus 4 minus W all squared okay and what is that equal to uh, this is going to be equal to uh, 1 uh, 1 minus uh, 4 minus W all squared okay now uh, this is what this is the CDF so in order to find the PDF all we need to do is to differentiate the CDF okay so if W of W is nothing but D F W of W by D W okay so this is going to be equal to what negative uh, 2 the, the derivative of 1 is 0 so negative 2 multiplied by 4 minus W uh, multiplied by negative 1 okay and of course we need to differentiate that with respect to okay so okay so this is the CDF the CDF is the integral okay of this so uh, in order to find the uh, integral uh, the, the the probability density function all we need to do is to differentiate the CDF okay uh, so I'm sorry uh, yes yeah I did I did a mistake here let me erase all this okay so uh, this is let, let's leave it like this okay so this is what this is the CDF so uh, the, the, the PDF or the probability density function f w of w is equal to the derivative of f w of w and this is equal to uh, df of w f w of w by dw and this is going to be equal to 1 by 16 which is a constant we leave it outside the derivative of 16 is equal to 0 negative uh, 2 minus uh, multiplied by 4 minus omega multiplied by minus 1 so that would make this become positive okay that's it this is basically the probability density function and that can be rewritten as uh, 4 minus omega divided by uh, 8 okay and this is basically what the probability density function of W, which is the absolute difference of both x1 and x2. Okay, why I'm doing this problem because I'm gonna need it in uh, solving for the next uh, problem that is going to be in the next video, uh, which is basically that if we uh, select two randomly, uh, two points randomly in a square of side length of four, then what is the probability that the distance between these two points would be less than? Uh, one okay less than a particular value so for that we need to solve for the probability density function of w which is which basically represents the uh, distance okay the absolute difference uh, the distance okay, between the two points and for that we would need what the, uh, the, the the probability density function of the absolute difference of uh, two random variables as we're gonna see in the next video so if you guys are interested uh, go see the next video if you enjoyed okay this problem this solution then don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss anything in the future thank you for watching and see you in another video thanks